I checked on him at midnight, and my daughter was awake, and I thought, that's odd. I'll just sleep with one ear open. It was a wintry morning this past February when Lorraine Jessup realized her three kids had vanished. At five in the morning, I awoke to a cold house because the front door was wide open and the kids were gone. It was horrifying. It was cold outside. They didn't take any of their things with them besides what they had on. It's really scary when you don't know where your children are. I immediately called the police and said, my kids have disappeared. Do you have a, a sense of what happened? I do. I feel like that either someone took it upon themselves or were told by church authorities to gather up these children. Lorraine Jessup is one of four mothers whose children, as young as 12, have disappeared from remote towns dotting the Rocky Mountains. My name is Lorraine Jessup. I haven't seen my kids since February 4th of 2023. My name is Sarah Johnson. My son Salome has been missing since March of 2021. My name is Miranda Johnson, and I haven't seen or heard from my son since October 29th, 2022. My name is Elizabeth Roundy. I have not seen my daughter Elintra since January 1st, 2023. Law enforcement says they're all runaways. But these mothers are convinced it's not that simple and are sounding the alarm. Who is to say that they are safe? The women are united by a painful bond that goes beyond their missing children and ties directly back to their former religion. They were all members of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the FLDS. Known for their bouffant hairdos, prairie dresses, large families with multiple sister wives, but most of all, polygamy. This breakaway offshoot of Mormonism, led by now imprisoned, convicted pedophile, Warren Jeffs. The nationwide manhunt for a polygamist who became one of the FBI's 10 most wanted has ended. Guilty of two counts of felony sexual assault against two girls. One 12, the other gave birth to his child when she was 15. Crazy psychopath. And Warren thinks he's God, and they think he's God. It would be impossible for him to make a mistake. That's on the level of Jesus. Warren Jeffs, however, is a pedophile. He had... 80 approximately wives, many, many of them underage girls. The mothers placing the blame directly at the foot of their former church, whose leader was convicted of pedophilia and of marrying off child brides. The whole church was based on fear. They controlled people by fear. One of the downfalls that they teach is to keep sweet, and that means to do whatever they tell you to do at all costs, or there will be dire consequences all four mothers leaving that life behind. But now they believe their kids have actually run back to the church they fought so hard to escape. You're convinced they're in hiding? I think they're being hidden. If there's anything that the FLDS is good at, it's hiding people. It's my belief that all of the FLDS children that are missing at the present time are all connected there is a pattern that's very similar to what I've seen in the past, and it's an alarming pattern. Those who study the church say the prophet, Warren Jeffs, even after more than 15 years behind bars, still runs the FLDS with an iron fist. Warren will be the prophet until the day he dies or he goes totally insane and he's put in a rubber room somewhere. Send this message everywhere you can among the priesthood people. Warren's followers believe whatever Warren says. He's got them so indoctrinated. These mothers fear they're working against the clock because Jeffs himself has issued a series of frightening prophecies calling for his disciples to die so that they can be resurrected in heaven. I'm looking at the revelation that Warren sent out according to the heavenly calendar that will exist in New Jerusalem. Translated people must die. What does it mean? Whatever Warren Jeffs means by it, 
I don't want to wait and find out and see. If Warren Jeffs were to command people to be translated, in other words, die so that they could go to heaven, uh, the faithful FLDS may well do that. It's not unrealistic to believe his followers would follow him down the road of a mass suicide event. And that's our concern, is that something could happen along the lines of a heaven's gate. The mass suicide in California, 21 women, 18 men. Or a Jonestown. Jim Jones, the leader of an American religious cult, and his followers have been found dead at their jungle camp in Guyana, the result of a mass suicide murder. And, you know, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. But that is what is written in the Revelations. I want to make this very clear. If the law officials, FBI, whoever, doesn't stop Warren, thousands will die. Sorry. Jeff's also calling for all children of former FLDS members to come back into the fold. I think those recent revelations have everything to do with the disappearance of these children. I'm very worried for them. And do you feel like there's a sense of peril? Yes, I, I do. I have no idea if he's alive, but I hope to God he is. I'm very scared for her. A year ago, I knew of one child missing. Now there's eight. The church is famous for casting people out and splitting up families. All of our mothers say it happened to them. When Lorraine was 32, she was banished for something she had done years earlier. It was because I had been seen by a male doctor at a time when I had hemorrhaged. A woman cannot see a male doctor. If she does, she's been defiled and can no longer be a member of the church. Was that a miscarriage? Yes. When she permanently broke with the FLDS, they labeled her what they call an apostate, the scarlet letter of the FLDS community. What did you say to your children? I told them that I had sinned and that I had to go live somewhere else and that it was best for them to stay with the priesthood. When she embarked on a new life, she says she entrusted all six of her children to her sister wife. It's the hardest thing and the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> But to me, it was the only option. It was the only choice. I felt like I was gonna burn in hell. Imagine if you were walking into a furnace, would you take your children with you? If, if that's where you knew you were going? Like in my mind, I knew that's where I was going. After two years on the outside, Lorraine conquered her fears and decided to try to get her children back. But actually getting them back would be the fight of her life. We don't need you. That hall tonight, there will be no voice right Our thanks to Juju. ABC News reached out to the FLDS Church for comment. They did not respond. You can see more of the mother's fight on impact by Nightline, now streaming on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.